Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison video with the FNS 9C and the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. Both subcompact guns, both hold 12 rounds and both have a 3.6 inch barrel length. So they measure up very well and we're going to do a comparison here and check them out. Now let's start with the Canik TP9 uh, subcompact. This is Canik's smallest gun. You may notice that it has a tungsten finish, Cerakote finish on there that is a dark gray. It has a ton in the case. It really does. It has a 12 round and 15 round magazine, an additional back strap, an ambidextrous gun, ambidextrous slide stop. It does have a rail there. It's optic ready. Three dot sights, serrated rear sights. They are metal and all in all a very nice package. I'm seeing this selling for right around $380. Also comes with a holster, which is very cool. But here we are, let's see how it shoots. Also has a striker fire indicator dot there that is red and a loaded chamber indicator bar. So this has a lot of gun for the money and right around $380 is what you'll pay if you want the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. But now we have the FNS 9C. I've had this one for quite a while now. It's about $100 more, so the street price is right around $480. But I love this gun. It has uh, incredible reliability. I took it to a training class and performed very well. I'm yet to experience a failure that I can remember. I've owned it for five or six years now, but also a 3.6 inch barrel. This has night sights to it, so that, that adds the price a little bit, right around 480. Additional back strap, very aggr aggressive grip texturing. This comes with three mags, two 12 round and a 17 round mag, okay? Full size FN model magazine that comes with it. And a very nice looking gun, carries well. It's also ambidextrous, so you can see that it does have a mag release and slide stop is both ambidextrous. Very reliable gun and I've enjoyed owning it throughout the years. I think this is a nice gun. I know a lot of FN fans out there who really enjoy the FNS 9C, and I am one of them. So the question boils down to which one of these would make a better CCW gun, range gun, home defense gun. Both have rails for lights and lasers and anything else you want. This one's optic ready, although FN now makes this being optic ready. They have very similar size. The Canik loaded weight is right around 30 ounces, 29 ounces, so very close in size and weight and overall feel. So what I want to know is which one do you prefer? Before we get there though, I want to tell you what I prefer. I enjoy both the guns. I've owned the Canik, I don't know, for about five to six months now. I've had the FNS 9C for five to six years. I really have a strong feeling about this in, in terms of reliability. I think it's extremely reliable. I've run all types of ammo through it. I carried it on occasion and I feel very confident with this. That's not to say this isn't a quality gun, but if I had to choose one, I'm taking the FNS 9C. It's about a hundred bucks more. This is uh, loaded with features and additional accessories in the case, a solid choice, but I'm taking the FNS 9C. What I want to know is which one would you take? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.